Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Light. I'm not even gonna lie, this is the like third recording I'm doing because the first two recordings I said Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald because I got so used to saying it like that But um, yeah, um, we're back with another episode In the last episode, we, you know, we, we begun our journey and we got ourselves a Squirtle who we nicknamed Buzz Who's pretty, he was very close to level uh, evolving um, we do have a lot to do in this episode, and before that, we are gonna go in and get a few things off certain people. You're a trainer. Think you can find a use for this? And with that, we get the amulet coin. We will find a very, very good use to this right now because we only do have one Pokemon. We are gonna give. No, we're not gonna use it. We're gonna give it to Squirtle. He's got Moo Moo Moo. Um, okay, I don't. I gave him Moomoo Milk. Um, but anyway, we have Moomoo Milk. Um, where else do we need to go? We need to go to the old guy um, sitting down at the bottom of the bench down here. The first guy we've seen as we walked into the city. As far as I know, that guy there is a member of Team Steam, but you know, we, we won't bother him. Let's talk to this guy. You're a trainer. I think you will. I think this will be of use to you. With that, we get the Ultra Ball. There is three more things we need to get in here. As far as I know, there are three things. I might be missing out on a couple things. I might not be. I'll let you guys tell me if I'm right or wrong. And this guy is going to give us a little sum sum. You trainer, I think you'll be able to use this or something. And we get... What do we get? We get TMO1... Oh, TMO1 Focus Punch. Which is a really, really powerful uh, move. And then this guy also gives us... Uh, you can tell just by looking at some trainers that they have the capacity to train certain Pokemon really well. I'm giving you a great Pokemon. And you know what? We're going to take it. We're not going to use Grail Light, but we are going to take it. You know, just to help with the Pokedex. Uh, that is rare and difficult to encounter. Only a few people ever get one. You're lucky. Thanks, dude. And one more thing. Uh, one more thing of this lady right here. I'll give you a very, very important item that will allow you to participate in any content, in any content in this contest. Any contest, not content. But we do get a contest pass. Content, contest. Cause saying it so much, it sound, doesn't sound like a real word anymore. Contest, 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 contest. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But what we are gonna do? We are going to, um, wait, what level is that girl at like level 5, okay, um, you know what, just in case, we're just going to switch, like as I said, I'm really not, I'm not going to use the girl light, but um, we are going to backtrack a little bit, just to, because we are going to be adding some members to our team, and I'm going to just run around here very quickly until we get said member well, come on here we go we get a starling and um, just use boy please do not kill him please don't take him good good right yeah we are going to use the starling because seraphtar is a beast pokemon um so let's hope that we get it let's hope we catch the newest member to our team one two three ah. oh we got him we got him we got Starly. We got Starly. Um, yeah, Starlies, they flock in great numbers, though small. They flap their wings with great power. We will give a nickname to a Starly, and I know that Starly is not a fire type Pokemon or a Phoenix. And specifically, I know it's. You know, it, it's, it's still a board. A Phoenix is a board, although myth. Logical board or whatever, but still a board. And with that, we are gonna call our Starly folks. Um, if you are a huge fan of the Harry Potter series, you will realize why. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, no, we. Whoops, no. And yeah, we're just gonna quit. Quickly, as I was going to say, quickly, excuse me, carry 
on with our journey. Right. Pokemon, we are going to switch Bows back out. And then, no, you know what? I'm expecting some trainer battles, so we're gonna put Fox out. I'm just gonna level him up a little bit. Um. Yeah, because get yeah, our trainers coming up. I feel like there are unusual Pokemon like Magic Carp and Phoebus. That's true. Oh, what's up here? Ah, Super Potion. Okay. Okay. It wasn't a normal potion, which would have been better, but okay. Okay, Pokemon should always be fit and ready for battle. And with that, we are going to get ready for the first battle of this episode. The first trainer battle. You, you, you get me, you get me. Okay, Pokemon, let's switch back out to Buzz. You know what, because there's like five Pokemon, I'm just gonna tear through them. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep shit switching in and switching out. Because, you know, it'll be easier. Oh god, of course. Level three. Yes. Doof. Ah, yeah, level four, it's all right. Okay, Pokemon. Wargon. Tackle. Level five, quick attack. Boom. There we go. Spiro. Yeah, we're just gonna bring Fox back out, and then we're gonna rechange again. Use Wargon. And with that, we defeat Last Marina. Um. There's another battle coming up, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sprint all the way back to the Pokemon Center and just very very quickly heal up. And it should be like this. Yeah. yeah. Just whoops. Didn't mean that. And here we go. Right, Stunky. Um I know he's gonna poison, but I'll yeah, you know what? Yeah, forget about it. Let's let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, use war gun. Use another war gun. Use gonna poison us. Level eight. Okay. Shinx. No. Okay. Let's just use war gun. Use another war gun. Take him out. Level fifteen. Stunky. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna switch back in. Level nine. We're gonna quick attack. We're gonna use another. We're gonna switch back out. <laughs> Wait, no. Quick attack and take him out. Level 9. We're gonna switch back out. God, it's like I really can't talk in this episode. Right, use War Gun. Use another War Gun. Please tell me we can take him out. And we can! Awesome. Okay, um, I don't have any antidotes or anything yet, so. Unfortunately. Um, something is com coming up before, and we, I'm going to switch Gravelite back out so we can potentially use him in a certain way. But anyway, see, Kenseth, Phoebus, they appear by the thousands at this time of year. Although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for, t for the tip. I think I'll try to catch one. And there's four in the background, as you can see. Wow, amazing, Professor. I've fallen in love with these Pokemon. I'll catch one right now. Go Pokeball. You know what? I'm going to use that method. Like, wow, I captured a Feebus. It looks like a good Pokemon. It does. It evolves into Melodic, which is an amazing Pokemon. That Feebus is attacking him, and I'm going to save him. But yeah, um, level 3. Okay, I'm going to throw a Pokeball. Just in case, and just see if it'll catch it straight away without putting up a fight like it did for Kenta. One, two, three. Hey, it worked. Okay. We didn't need that, but you know, just in case. We're not going to use feedback either. Um, it's just a cat to catch it. No. Thank you. It's Stephen. Professor Jasmine asked me to tell you that she is doing important research on the creation of the universe and needs her help. She wants to show you her results. She's in her lab in Yellow Town. Thank you, Stephen. I'll head there right away. Oh, and this is my nephew, Kenta. Nice to meet you, Stephen. You look like a skilled Pokemon trainer. I hope I'll face you myself someday. I'll say the same thing to you. 
Well, I'll be on my way now. Thanks, Stephen. Goodbye. Goodbye. I will see you soon. Really soon. Really, really soon. Sooner than you could ever imagine. Okay. We got, <laughs> we got a war zone. We're going to put that away. Um, he doesn't really say anything. He looks look like... Uh, okay, he looks, he, looks, he looks like... That's okay. That's allowed. But what we are going to do... Was fainted, you know, it's it's okay. We're gonna run around here until we get our next member, which will take a little bit. I hope not. Um, trying to find them, and um, apparently, obviously, I mean, like, there's percentage rates of it coming up, and it's the least most secure in Pokemon in this room. All the others, I think there's like five different types. There's uh, Puccina, uh, Krogunk, Starlet, uh, Pidove. Hey, here we go, Shinx. No, I'm, I'm gonna hopefully catch it with a Pokeball. I really want to shoot the Shinx because Luxray is an immensely powerful Pokemon. Okay, we're just gonna spam the Pokeballs until we get them. Can we catch him with an Ultra Ball? We do. Okay, I don't care if I'm wasting an Ultra Ball or whatever, but we caught a Shinx. And, you know, you, you'll see over the next, I don't know, like 20, 30 maybe episodes of this, just how well Lux Rage or the evolution line of Shinx will do because I've used it before in Diamond and Pearl and it's an amazing Pokemon. But we are going to give it a nickname. And as it is a line Pokemon, I'm gonna go back to and refer to my favorite childhood line, which was Simba from The Lion King. And that's it. So, yeah, okay, we are going to very, whoops, excuse me, very quickly go back in, re do this. Um, whoops, excuse me. Um, we're gonna deposit um, Crowley. We won't, we, we, we won't be Phoebus. Um, level 10. Okay, let's do Excuse me. Um, yeah, let's just keep what's his face though. But um, another thing we have to do in here is we have to go back in. We don't have to go back in because I haven't been in there before. We have to go into the radio tower. No, I'm sorry, not just yet. I'm sorry. We have to go back all the way back down to Yellowtown and. No, like, oh, honestly, I really wonder when we'll get to run and choose because we really need some. Um, I don't want to keep sprinting through this in case I miss anything. But yeah, we, um, we're going to go back down to Yellowtown. And then we are going to... Wait, are we going to... No, we've already balled him. Yeah, we're going to go back down to Yellowtown. We're going to go back into the Pokemon Lab. And... Hey, my Shinx is better than yours. But until then, we're gonna go up this way. And we're gonna go in here, and we are gonna get ourselves an Elekid. We won't use the Elekid, but you know, it's always nice to just... Um... You know, just in case. No, well, not even just in case, just to have it on the Pokedex. But yeah, and... Here we go. Hi, Professor Oak. Welcome to my lab. Oh, thanks, Professor. And Stephen told me I had to come here quickly. I'm here to learn about the research. You left before me and I got here before you. I even took time to um, heal my Pokemon. Yes, Professor, with Stephen's help, I've been studying ancient writings about the creation of the universe. They said that our sea has created the world and all the Pokemon. Incredible. This is actually related to my latest research in the Pokemon DNA. It seems all species have the same small train in common. Yes, Professor. Right now, that's all I know. I'll send you the full document on a CD. Okay, so... You know, we're in the Pokemon universe and... We're, we have technology that's so advanced. We have machines that heal Pokemon inside our Pokeballs. We have Pokeballs that can actually minimize the height of a or all Pokemon. All that technology and new ones being created over and over again, yet you put it on a CD. Okay then. Okay. 
Okay, Professor Jasmine, I'm going to re to research. I'm going to my research center in Zuri, Central City's radio tower. Let me know immediately if you have any problems. Okay. Okay, let's just run you out. Good job, Stephen. I've registered you in the Zuri League. Now you can fight the gym leaders and become a powerful trainer. Congratulations and take care. Team Steam will still be after you. Thank you for really helping out with that. Anywho, we are gonna go back up. We do have um, so far the first three members of our team, and yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna like. Won't be using him. I might catch a bit of just like to use as a, a NHM slave maybe. See, that's why we need running shoes, but I'm going to go quickly up to the Pokemon Center, not in here, and then store what's his face. No. Not just yet, okay? You'll see why, you'll see why. We have to go back in, we have to, this time we have to go back in here. And now, we can go upstairs, God. The stress. It's hard, like, trying to remember little bits of what I kind of went through before so I can know what I, what to do in this episode. It's coming back bit by bit, but this is where we're supposed to be right now. Interesting. Hey, Stephen. I'm glad you came to my research center. I forget for you and Kenta. It's a national dex, which you can use to find and record data on Pokemon during your journey. Yeah, we get a Pokedex. Finally. Finally, it's not you don't we don't I don't think it's okay for us to walk up one at a time Let's do it all together. I'll hurry this whole thing up. We received a national dex. Well, Kenta and Steven now with this tool You can go on a magnificent journey through the Zuri League. Good luck to both of you. Thank you ever so much Thank you, Thank you Professor. I'll be sure to train hard Goodbye Steven. One day we'll have a great battle. One day Kenta we will have a great battle which I will win. Um, you know, it's no, I don't know doubt about it. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. But if you talk to him after this incident, you will get a little some some. Stephen, just by looking for looking at you, I can see that you have great potential as a Pokemon trainer. I'm going to let you choose one of these three rare Pokemon to help you on your quest. And with that, we get to choose between the the second gen Pokemon starters. No. Um, you know, if you just yeah, it's okay. Um, if you talk to him again after rejecting it, you get to choose Cyndaquil, and once you reject Cyndaquil, you can choose Totodile. I've always chosen Totodile because Feraligate was an amazing Pokemon to use. So I'm going to use Totodile, and thank you. Okay, one of the very, one of the, yeah, he's, he's rare, okay, we, we get it, he's rare. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just go back right up to the... The um, Pokemon Center. God, these words are just escaping my mind way too quickly. But we're gonna go in here. We're gonna store this Pokemon into the storage system. Uh, deposit Elekid and Totodile. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, and with that, we will. <sighs> we're gonna make our way towards Route 402. I went down a little bit. Sorry about that. We're gonna go this way. And. Wait. We gotta go up here to get this little Pokeball. We get a rare candy. Which. You know, I never really used. Um, uh, yeah, like lately I just. Well, over the past like maybe two years, I just stopped using them altogether. As soon as I got them when I was younger, um, they were all I used really. Well, every time I found them, I used them. But yeah, we're just gonna get straight into more battles, and he's got Venipede, which will of course I get poisoned. Of course, I get poisoned. No, it's gonna keep you out. Just win through these. Combi ain't gonna do anything. No, stop learning double team. Combi, no. There we go. Um, so, okay. 
What? What's going on here? Look, there seems to be a Pokemon drowning in the war. Huh? Hey, it's a... Is that play? That is a Pichu. Well, it is a Pichu. It's drowning. I'll save it. Hop in the war and we push. No, we don't push it. We just hop along beside it. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I was a little worried, but it looks like Pichu wants to reward you with the battle. Oh, I feel honored that you're going to attack me while I just saved your life. You know, next, you know what? I'm going to pick you up and chuck you into the war. How do you like that, Marcos? Okay, use tackle. Don't kill him. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to catch him and just throw him in the storage box, but I'm, I guess I can't do that. I'm glad that that's over with. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Diamond. I'm a trainer from the Sinnoh region. I'm in the Zuri League as a rookie, but I'm not one really. See? Let's fight. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna fight. Um, how many Pokemon does he have? He's got three Pokemon. We also have three Pokemon. One of our Pokemon is doing a little bit not well. Okay, we have the speed, which is good. Holy hell! Um, at least we took down one of his Pokemon. Um, Alakid. Yeah, you know we're just gonna switch out and bring out Buzz. Um, hopefully Buzz will evolve by the end of this. He should do. He should do. Alakid, use War Gun. I know Water is not as effective. Like I know Electric is more is super effective against Water type, but you know Buzz is my strongest Pokemon, and we, you know, we're gonna tank. We will tank this. Holy hell, we do just about take it. Please get me a crit. Please. Okay, use Bubble. No, damn it. We might lose this battle. We do lose this battle. Shh, yeah, okay. Right, folks, it is. Okay. We're by poison. Of course we are. We use wing attack. How are you faster? We're all we're gone. Okay, so I guess in the next episode we are going to Um Okay, yeah. There we go. I guess No, you know, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna speed back up here and we're gonna beat him Okay, we're just gonna go through this again. Um Do I have any I don't have any Pokeballs anyway, um Tackle, just get rid of him. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wing attack. And we're gonna get back to that point. Alakid. We are gonna switch out. We're gonna bring up Buzz. We're gonna use Water Gun. Damn you and your friggin' Thunder Punch. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're, we're gonna wing it. We're gonna beat this. We're gonna win. No, we're not gonna win. God, this is really frustrating. Um, how are we? How is Elekid of all Pokemon faster than a start? Wait, right. We're, we're gonna check his speed. He's 27 speed. Okay, that's okay. 21 speed. Six. Okay. Um, fight. Just tackle. Just get rid of him. Are you freaking kidding me? Of all times to actually paralyze me, you do now. Wing attack, okay. Use water gun. Use water gun. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna level up a little bit off screen just so we can actually take him out. That was just not good at all. Um, but yeah. I know there wasn't too much in this episode, but we did. We added two new members. Um, I'm gonna try and bolt them up off screen, and then you know we are we're gonna win. We are gonna beat this. We're gonna beat him um, eventually. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the the second part of this Pokemon Light Platinum episode of series. Um, yeah, if you guys could leave a like, rating, or a comment, that'd be great. Appreciate it so much more if you could hit that subscribe button. I'll be back more tomorrow with a new episode. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.